Hi, this is Glenda. Um, at our Papermates group, the subject came up of what is the difference between glossy cardstock and glossy photo paper. I knew there was a difference. I knew it's to do with the coatings and chemicals that are put on the papers, but I have never played and proved for, to myself what the differences are. So I thought I would. So I ransacked the house, well, went to the printer shelf, and I had three, four, six different sorts of photo paper, which was a surprise to me. Um, and I've been playing and experimenting and working out what the differences are. So this is my glossy cardstock, uh, which is rated 250 GSM. Every single piece of photo paper I had was rated differently in its weight. Um, they are not all created equal. Uh, this is a piece of um, photo paper from Officeworks, which is the most recent one that I have purchased. And what I found was that different effects will work differently. Um, so when I just did droplets, um, which I'll show you in a second, that was the, the biggest difference. When I added alcohol was the next biggest difference. With the photo paper, the alcohol just tended to spread over the paper instead of reacting with my ink. When it came down to pouncing, um, you know, with a, a felt dauber, the results were very similar, except the gloss paper is way more pastel. The If you want vibrant, then the photo paper worked much better. Blowing with a straw worked best on the glossy. Um, with all my photo papers, I tended to get a dot where the ink fell and then it would be sinking in too quickly to even move it well. And the other thing I tried was putting um, alcohol marker on a sheet of acetate, squirting that with some alcohol and putting um, just putting that on with the acetate sheet. That's not very descriptive. I scribbled on the acetate, I sprinkled al sprayed alcohol, turned it over and went like that. Um, and that was a difference on the different papers too, uh, and each photo paper reacted differently with that. The photo paper tended to be more spotty, whereas on the glossy it it spread and moved and looked more marbly. Um, so the, what I decided is there is absolutely nothing wrong with using photo paper for your alcohol inks, depending on the technique you want to do. So if I show you, uh, here's my glossy cardstock. Drop of ink and it spreads nicely and blooms on the photo paper. It sits there and if you think about what photo paper is supposed to do, the inkjet printer squirt a little dot of ink at the paper and you don't want it blooming out. You want it to stay where it squirted it and make your photo nice and sharp. So it makes complete sense that they each work differently like that. Um, when I added blending solution, uh, I got different results as well. So, put a couple of drops on each one. And on the glossy cardstock, the blending solution blooms out a lot more, and it's got a slight dip, so it's running more, which is not a fair test. I paid a lot for my glossy cardstock, so hence this small piece off cut from my previous test. Um, and you can see the alcohol in the photo paper is just sort of oozing out itself, um, not taking the ink with it. So then if we try, this one's not a terribly deep colour. Um, if I try with some alcohol instead of blending solution, you can see that it, it behaves even worse. What it was interesting was alcohol and blending solution are not the same thing. Um, when you do it side by side like that you see the alcohol kind of moves the ink instead of mixing with the ink. So I thought that was an interesting thing to learn. Um, so that was my little test piece. I'll just put my lids on. 
and I'll show you my other results. I'm trying not to get alcohol ink everywhere. So uh, that was Canon paper and it's supposed to be 190 grams. It's not much more than normal paper weight. You can see that this acetate one was very spotty. Um, the straw barely moved at all. The alcohol just kind of smudged everything. The, the stomping is beautiful. Um, and again, my dots, um, and that was with the blending solution, that one. So it sort of went out, but more of a perfect circle. But the dots are a bit of a, they're an unusual look. This was the cheapest paper from the reject shop. It's rated at 220 GSM and it's still pretty thin. I'm not convinced this is drying at all. Um, it, it looks wet and it feels wet and I have a feeling if you stacked another piece of paper on top of it, it would just stick. But the straw kind of moved really well because this is super slick and the acetate um, worked quite well on it. This one, uh, this is, I've had this for several decades. It, it was a very early photo paper. It's the most like glossy cardstock of any of them. It was 240 GSM and you printed on it fairly lightly and then you rubbed a solution over the top and that made your photo more vivid and the solution dried up long ago. I've got no idea what it was. Um, this paper was rediscovered the other day. Oh, look at that. The alcohol's gone right through it. That's something I didn't look at. Okay, on the first one, the Canon, it's gone through. Reject shop, it hasn't. Um, but yeah, that's... But again, it, it didn't bloom very much on the single dots, and it didn't spread very much with the solution. And with the stomping, it gave the closest to... Where's my bit of glossy? That one. Um, it gave the closest result, almost identical, um, to the glossy cardstock. But you'll probably never get that, so it's irrelevant. Um, this was a Corporate Express one, rated at 250 GSM. It's a fraction thicker, but not much. The stomping is lovely and vibrant. These moved a fraction. This is one where the alcohol just kept spreading, and yeah, the straw was. You can see the dot in the centre where it, it really just you had to be so fast, and the stomping little dots. Um, yeah. And this one, office idea, um, I'm not sure where that came from, that, but that's what was written on it, office idea 260 GSM. It's closer to being cardstock. Again, these, the um, foam applicator, the, it's lovely and vivid. Um, it has gone through a little bit on these. Oh, I didn't check this one, did I? Um, no, that one hasn't gone through, so... Um, and then the the office works one has gone through um, and it has on the glossy cardstock on the big blobs so the really wet ones went through the others didn't um, there's our little test pieces that have dried alcohol ink does not take long to dry but you can see the results are quite different when you're just dropping so I would say Perhaps don't use paper, photo paper for any technique where you're dropping it on and wanting it to move with solution. Definitely use it if you're going to do pouncing, straw blowing, anything like that. Um, and that's my little test. So, you know, test, test your own paper to see how it reacts, I would say. Uh, and that's, I, I really couldn't find more technical description about the different papers. Um, but I don't need to technical, I just need to know what works. So hopefully if you've been wondering that helps um, and thanks for watching.